standing for Houston. Well, they're a small company that Metro asked to solve a really big problem, to try to develop a system to monitor its light rail train drivers, to monitor them and see if they were actually stopping on the stop line at red lights. Well, the company did it, but then Metro now, they say, is trying to give away its system to multi-billion dollar companies, and the little guys are suing to stop them. From the beginning, the bells and whistles haven't been enough. Metro's light rail has had issues with collisions. Either cars running into the trains or trains running into the cars. But to help solve that, Metro contracted with two small companies to develop a system that could monitor the trains and its drivers, essentially making sure that they stop at red lights. Or not, as the case may be. That horizontal red bar is a stoplight for the train. We have onboard equipment on the vehicle and also uh, equipment at the intersection. And we basically monitor using GPS if the light rail train runs past this stop bar over here. The system is 98% accurate and is millions of dollars less expensive than a similar one developed by a major multinational company that was only 68% accurate in testing. Based on that, the company says Metro asked it to develop a more comprehensive safety system that includes signal and speed limit controls for use on the light rail expansion. All over town, the signs of expansion are unavoidable. The expansion of the light rail in the downtown core and the east end is on track for now, but the little guy has been locked out. They came back to us and said that if we wanted to bid, that we would have to uh, uh, get with one of our competitors. The same companies that these little guys are trying to protect their patented technology from. You have a company that comes in, does the work, uh, they chew them up, spit them out, and then in, in come the big companies to use their technology. Looking to the courts to put up a stop sign that Metro will see. Now this could mean real money. The guys at Amtrak say that their contract that still does exist with Metro and the possible sale of this system to other cities that have light rail systems could be worth more than $300 million. A judge here in Harris County District Court will hear a hearing on this matter later on in October. Metro here at their headquarters says that they can't comment on pending litigation, but that they look forward to their day in court. Live at Metro headquarters downtown, Jeremy Diesel, KHOU 11 News.